Good evening. This is CTV News for Thursday, June 1st. I'm Denise Douglas. And I'm Patricia Ballon. Glad to have you with us tonight. Well, alarming new teen crash rates uh, tonight from AAA Mid-Atlantic. This as we enter what the Auto Club calls the 100 deadliest days for young drivers. That's right, and Rochelle Metzger is here with steps that parents and teens should be taking now to keep them safe on the road this summer. Rochelle, what do you have? Patty and Denise, summer is becoming more and more dangerous for new drivers. Deadly teen crashes are on the rise. According to AAA Mid-Atlantic, the fatality rate for those under 18 is more than three times that of adults. The Auto Club says that between Memorial Day and Labor Day, the average number of deadly crashes involving teenagers climbs 15 percent compared to the rest of the year. In the last three months, the Washington metro area has seen three 17-year-olds die in fatal car crashes. The funeral for one held just yesterday here in Prince George's County. AAA's John Townsend says the troubling trend should serve as a warning for parents. We say to parents, you need to have that long talk with your teen. And not only just one conversation at the beginning of summer, but almost every week as if you're hectoring them about it without turning them off. You need to remind them that driving is very risky and that when they drive, they should concentrate on driving. We know what the three biggest fatal mistakes are for teen drivers. Number one is distractions. And you would tend to think that like most of us, the teen distraction would be having a cell phone, but that's not the number one distraction. The number one distraction behind the wheel is having another teenager in the car. Number two, is not wearing a seatbelt. Sixty percent of all teenagers killed in car crashes were not wearing seatbelts at the time of the fatality. And then speeding, that's a factor in almost a third of all fatal crashes involving teens. So Townsend encourages families to make a driving agreement that sets rules for the road. More tips and tools are available online at teendriving.aaa.com md. So the takeaway is this. Talking to your kids is key, but words alone are not enough. Townsend says that parents need to teach by example. Teens are going to mimic your behavior behind the wheel. So model good behavior. Buckle your safety belt. Don't talk on the phone. Don't be an aggressive driver. The strategy can't be do as I say, not as I do. That sends mixed messages. It has to be do as I say and as I do. All right, some good advice there. Definitely so. Stay right.